Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do another get ready with me because it seems like you guys like those way more than the voiceovers and you guys, let me just say, like you guys are so sweet. You guys are like the sweetest human beings ever. I am so thankful for you guys, but I see all of your comments and ooh, all of the positivity and let me just be the first to say like that's so refreshing that you can literally get on an app and like there's not a bunch of trolls or like haters like I love you guys like you guys are so sweet thank you but with that being said I'm gonna do a get ready with me but today we're gonna do a red lip and I don't know I don't really do red lips often but when I do like I feel like that girl like you know like I feel like with a red lip, like, nobody can really tell you shit. At least that's how I feel. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to do it together so we could, you know, have this moment. And you guys can also do this look at home. But my inspo for today, um, I actually don't even know, like, how I got sucked into watching this show. But it's called Hype House on Netflix. And let me just say, it's, like, a very, very young show. It made me feel really old. But anyway, it's about um, these, like, super, super successful TikTokers and, like, whatever. And Nikita Dragon is on it. And I love her. She's so bomb. But she did this one red lip look. And it was, like, in her confessional. And she had, like, her hair like this. Obviously, hers was, like, a, a wig. And it sits better, I guess. But I just tried to, like, do my best and, like, do a messy bun like hers whatever she just looks so bomb you guys so this is like the picture from the show I wonder if it'll there we go so yeah oh I love that look so we're gonna try to recreate it together so let's just start so I'm gonna start by clipping my hair out of the way I hope it doesn't ruin it I mean yeah I hope it doesn't ruin it because I tried so hard to get it to sit like that. <laughs> it looks crazy, but whatever. Actually, it looks a little too crazy. Let's fix it. Mm, whatever. As long as it's out the way. So, I think I'm going to prime today with Milk, um, the Hydro Group Primer. And I don't know. Like, I don't know how I really feel about this primer. I feel like everybody likes it because it's like tacky. But, I don't know. It's just not a fave for me. Okay, so today I wanted to try something kind of new. And, you know, like, I've been seeing this all over TikTok. All over anything, honestly. And everybody's, like, so hyped about the Flawless Filter. And I really couldn't find anything that was, like, super, like, my color. So I mixed two. And I used 5.5. And I think this is 4.5. And I just kind of like put a little bit everywhere because it's supposed to be like a primer technically but I don't know we're just gonna we're just gonna do it so I do like the outside perimeters with the darker color and we're gonna do the inside with this light color <laughs> That's kind of a lot, huh? Whatever. We're just gonna go with it. And then I'm gonna blend that with like a, this type of brush. It's called Pro Foundation from Sephora. And you guys know I love this brush. So I'm gonna do inner first and then blend out the darker colors. And I'm gonna take this like kind of down my neck too. Wow, we are glistening, you guys. Whoa. I don't know if people just wear this like by itself. Maybe they don't put as much as I just did, but I'm like so shiny right now. Like this is a lot. But I do like the glow that it gives you. Okay, then today I'm going to try her new foundation, Charlotte Tilbury, and it's called Beautiful Skin. Um, I don't know how to feel about this foundation yet. I've used it like once, but 
we're gonna go with it so same brush I'm gonna just stipple it all over first and then we're gonna blend with a sponge and this was the closest color I could find to my skin but when I had gone in like I wasn't wearing any makeup at all and this is what I got matched with Hopefully it works. You guys know it's hard for me to see it while I film because the light is so bright. So then I'm gonna take a sponge and just blend it in even more. This foundation actually is really pretty. It just looks like skin, you know? Like I don't even know what I'm seeing right now like I don't know if that's the flawless filter or the foundation or what it's so pretty so I think I'm gonna use a little bit more I just want like a little bit more of a solid coverage ah! well that's the last of that foundation okay let's just do a little bit more here yes Wow, you guys, it's so pretty. Actually, I really think this is like a really good color for me. I think I use nine neutral. That is freaking gorgeous. Wow, you guys, like I feel like this is like the perfect like no makeup foundation, no makeup foundation. Ooh, love that. For concealer, I'm gonna do NARS Ginger like they're naturally radiant no just creamy creamy concealer I'm gonna do ginger because I am pretty tan right now so we're gonna do that all over so one thing that I wanted to like talk to you guys about I don't know if anybody else struggles with anxiety but I literally sometimes get up in the morning and it's not even that I'm anxious about anything in particular, but my chest just feels so tight and I don't even know what to do about it. Like I have an in-house doctor that comes to my house um, once a month and he kind of just like checks on me and he's down to prescribe me like anything that I want if he thinks that it'll help. But the only thing is like, I don't want to be one dependent on like a medication to get through every day but also like a lot of medication that is for anxiety i feel like makes you so groggy throughout the day and like i got shit to do you know so and you guys know i like work out four to five times a week so like there's no way that i can like get up and take that and function but um if you guys have any suggestions like i'm down to try it because I just can't anymore. But anyway, um, this is a Tarte Shape Tarte Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love her. Um, this is in light medium. I'm just gonna lighten just like the inner corner right here. Just so we have a bright under eye because you guys know I love a bright under eye. And Real Technique sponge per use. And I like to take that like down the side of my nose too. Man, sometimes I wish I had like a glam squad because like the picture I just showed you guys of Nikita, she looks so good. Like especially for hair. I would just die if I had a hair person just to like get me together all the time. Okay, so we're gonna use a new contour today. And you guys, I love TikTok so much. Like I know like I talk about it a lot, but like TikTok literally gives you all the tips, all the fucking like good products. Listen, I'm on there every day, but this is the Kat Von D. It's like a gel contour, like life changing. And I was iffy about it at first, but I tried it. Oh my gosh, she's so bomb, bomb. So I'm in medium tan warm. I'm actually not sure if this is really my color, like the color for me, but whatever she's cute so i just take it around the same spots and i'm actually gonna try blending this with a sponge today because 
I don't know. I'm feeling a little adventurous. You guys, like this is so good. I don't understand it. It's so good. So I'm gonna do the elf sponge for this. Ooh. And like it blends so well. I can't even see. I wish I could see what I was doing for you guys. Like what? Oh, that's like definitely my new favorite contour. Like just how it blends. Wow, like look. Mm, you guys have to go get that. You guys have to go get it. Oh, that is so beautiful. You guys. And I like to blend it up. You guys know that. I wonder if I should add more or I should just leave it. Let me add a little bit more. Just a little. And I got it in two colors because I wasn't sure which one I was and I was like gonna return one, but I think I'm actually gonna keep both just in case I get tanner. Um, because I am going on vacation soon. But just the way that it blends, oh my gosh, you guys, wow. <laughs> I just got so excited over gel contour. But you guys see it, y'all see it, so. And today we're drinking um, Creation. This is Marjan's favorite. Um, it's my favorite too but it low-key tastes like a salad. <laughs> it has a lot of like good stuff in it, so if you guys have a creation near you, I would try this one. It's, it's good. And I always feel like so healthy when I drink it. Anyway, we're gonna still contour with our Fenty Matchstick in Truffle. Should I bring you guys in a little? Okay, we're gonna do Truffle. Ooh, I keep going in with the wrong brush. I love this thing for nose contour. You know, um, those brushes, you guys, that like people use to contour their nose, but it looks like a toothbrush, like the ones with like the handle like this. I can never get into that. I don't know why, like I just can't do it. And I wish I could because it just like, it looks like so snatched when the girls do it. Nikita's nose is always so snatched, so gotta make sure mine is snatched too. <laughs> Contour on the side, you know how we do. So today we're not doing liquid blush or cream blush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bake with the Huda Beauty baking powder. Mine's in banana bread, you guys know. And I'm gonna do this with a powder puff. I also take it under the contour, just like this, just so we have like a really sharp contour. Um, we're gonna set our face later a little bit differently because I learned it. I learned a technique on TikTok. Ugh, you guys, I'm like stuck on freaking TikTok. I need help. But it's just so hard to stop like scrolling on there. The amount of videos I have saved <laughs> is just alarming. Oh, but as I was saying, we're gonna set our face differently later because this girl literally looks like she has a beauty filter on at all times and it's like, I tried it the other day, it freaking works. Like, poreless porcelain skin, it's possible, okay? So for eyes, it doesn't really look like that they did much with her shadow. I feel like they just highlighted underneath her brow bone and then they just used like a taupey brown eyeshadow. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, I'm not... I don't really care for like a crazy eye look. Oh, I forgot to show you guys what I was using. So the Dior palette, this is Warm Neutrals, Dior Backstage. We're just gonna highlight underneath our brow bone with this. 
like. She also highlighted the inner corner with a matte color. So we're gonna bring that down too. The inner corner. Wow, that makes your nose look so snatched. Sheesh. Um, yeah, it looks like a grayish brownish color. You guys see me using this palette all the time, and I don't even know if it still exists. It probably doesn't, but um, it's from Tarte. It's called Clay Play, but it just has like the best uh, neutral browns like ever. So if you guys can find something similar to this, I would use something like this. So I'm gonna use like the middle color because it looks the most like cool toned. And we're just gonna go all over the lid with that. I'm gonna kind of use like a fluffy crease brush. This one's from Morphe. And I think I'm just gonna go in with it. She doesn't do like a cut crease or anything, so we might as well just blend it across the lid. Yeah, that looks pretty good. For what we're going for. Not too dark, so. You guys know I'm like very wit, like the one shadow I looked like. I love that. Just make it easy on yourself. I feel like just as long as like you blend it out nicely and like, yeah, you put a good pair of lashes on, awesome. Oh, and I know a lot of you guys ask like where I get my lashes done and I promise I'm not trying to gatekeep. She's literally like my aunt. Well. So like she's like my nail lady, but I treat her like family. She treats me like family. Um, and I've been going to her for like years now. Like I think five, something like that. But yeah, four or five years. Um, yeah, so she doesn't really take clients on for lashes, but she just likes doing mine. And I literally, like she just does whatever she wants to them. <laughs> I don't really say much. But she's like literally the bomb, you guys. Like, come on. But I, she doesn't take clients, so I'm sorry. Wow, that looks pretty nice. I like this one color. And it looks like she takes it under the eye too. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of the darker brown shade too. Like just mix it, just so we have like a defined under eye. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yep. Mm. So next she has a really nice cat eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and come back because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. Okay so I am back and now I'm gonna do my brows. So I'm gonna brush off like the powder that I um, baked with on my forehead and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and then I'll be right back. I think I did the damn thing with my eyeliner though. Yeah? <laughs> okay, so that is the brows done. So I'm just gonna brush off the rest of the powder that's on my face. And then you guys know there's nothing that I love more to set my whole face than this Laura Geller baked foundation. And I'm just gonna like set my forehead, my contour a little bit. And I don't like to like sweep it as so much as like dab it because I don't want it to like drag away our cream products. And today I just wanted to try a little bit of um, pink powder underneath my eyes just so it can be just a little bit brighter. I'm gonna use Jaclyn Hill's, uh, I guess it's like a brightening under eye powder and it's like in a pinky shade i will link not link i'll like put it in the description box but i'm just gonna dust a little bit just under my eyes i really actually like how this looks and i feel like it'll settle when we um bake later not bake set later you guys obviously don't have to do that step for contour today, we are gonna do Benefit's Hula Bronzer. You guys can tell that I am very faithful to her. And between her and the NARS Laguna, wow. And 
just intensify the contour just a little bit. And you guys know I've been loving the Makeup by Mario dual sided um, blush and bronzer brush. But yeah, I'm going to take the bronzer just all over our contour spots. This look is actually really easy and fast. Um, if you guys want to try it, like literally we use what, two eyeshadows? Wow. Okay, so for blush, I was kind of hesitant, not hesitant, but like I didn't know what blush I wanted to go with for this look, but I really wanted to try this one on camera for you guys because I don't think people talk about this color enough. Like everybody uses the Dior pink blush and um, Orgasm by NARS, but this one, Amore, you guys, it's like a color that doesn't look like much, but then like when you put it on, it, I guess it gives everybody their own, you know, kind of tint, but it's so beautiful. Like, you guys, like, you guys don't think that it's going to be, like, a poppin' color, but it is. It's kind of like the um, Dior one in a sense where, like, everybody gets their own shade. Wow, you guys, look at it. Ooh. Yes, and it's so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, um, she, Nikita, definitely used like a more reddish blush, but this one, mmm, this one is so pretty. Like, but you guys see how it kind of just changes? Like, it definitely doesn't look like this, you know? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but you guys should definitely try it. So for highlights, I'm gonna use Illa Masca's OMG Beyond Powder. <sighs> this is probably my favorite highlight in the world. Will it focus? Did it focus? It's like the prettiest, most like, not subtle, I mean, I guess it is. It's like fine, I don't know, very fine highlight. And it just goes on so nice. It's not too much. It's so perfect. Like, what? You guys, come on. She has it a lot, like right here. So we're gonna put, you know, quite a bit on there. Not too crazy on the cheeks. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit for under my brow because she has a really light, um, like, under brow this look we're just gonna make it pop and it gives it like a little bit of dimension because we have the one shadow you know so good now finally for our lip <sighs> you guys this is like my third one of these and I'm opening it with you guys on camera this is my third one I keep losing them or like using it all but this is the melted matte Too Faced liquid matte long wear lipstick this is the ultimate red lip this is the one i'm not debating it i don't care what you think i'm just kidding this is it like this color will stay on until tomorrow if you want it to it does not move it's the perfect shade it's not too orange you guys have to go get this like if you want a red lip that's like perfect this is the one okay and I'm just going to do it on my little mirror so it's like more precise. You guys are about to see. Like, it's so good. I can't even explain it. Okay, so that is our red lip. It's in the shade Lady Balls, by the way, which is funny as fuck. Now, for the way that we're gonna set our face, so this girl on TikTok, she um, like saturates her face with a face mist, but for me, I'm gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. 
And she said you want it to be like wet, pretty much. Oops, just sprayed it on my candle. So you want it to kind of dry a little bit. And then she says to take a sponge and your favorite setting powder. So I'm gonna do Laura setting powder. And we're gonna take it on a sponge, but we're gonna dab it on the back of our hand first. So it like kind of packs the powder onto the sponge. And we're just gonna go over, make sure it's like pretty dry. We're just gonna go over all the spots that like have texture. Just like watch this magic, you guys, it's insane. Okay, and we're just gonna let it work its magic for a little bit. Once that's pretty dry, I'm just gonna make sure that there's no like excess powder. But you guys, do you see like how, like how poreless it looks? It's like magic, you know? So then I'm just gonna set it one more time with the Sephora setting spray just for extra insurance. You know how I do. So yeah, you guys, this is my red lip look. Um, I I don't even know. Like, there's just something about a red lip that makes you feel like that bitch, you know? And I hope you guys recreate this. Let me know if you guys do. Let me know what else you guys want to see. But yeah, thank you for watching. And see you guys next time. Bye.